Hey there fellow bass players around the world. I didn't have any intention of shooting a video, much less posting a video today, but this morning I got a question from Tethered in Time, and it says, so the relative minor is always the sixth note of the major scale of whatever key you are playing. When and why would the relative minor be applied? Now, that's a good question. So I had to think about how to answer it and answer it in a way that would make sense. So that gave me an excuse to fire up the equipment and write a little piece of music to help explain it better. And we're going to get to it right now. There's a long answer I could give you and a short answer I could give you. Um, I'm going to give you the long answer first and we'll save the short answer for the end of the video. But we're going to start off by playing an A major scale. That's A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. And we learned in the first lesson that the sixth note of a major scale will give us the relative minor. So let's count up to the sixth note. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. So the relative minor to A major is F sharp minor. So now let's play an F sharp minor scale. That's going to be F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. The A major sounds more happy. The F sharp minor sounds more sad. But they share the same notes, so they're relative to each other. That's basically what that means. Now, the only time I would really apply this is if I'm improvising on stage, if, or if I'm taking a solo or something like that, that's where this would really come into play. And it would give the piece of music that we're playing maybe a different feel, maybe it would sound more happy at some point and a little darker at another point. And I'll give you an example in a second. I'm gonna do a little improv, a little solo or a piece of music. But let's also review. Each note to a scale has a corresponding chord. So if I'm playing the A major scale, the first chord is going to be A major. And that chord is built off the first, the third, and the fifth note of the scale. So that's going to be the A, which is your root note, the C sharp, and the E. So that builds the A major chord. All right. Now let's switch to the F sharp minor. The first chord of the F sharp minor is going to be F sharp minor. The second chord is going to be G sharp diminished. Kind of a muddy sounding chord right there. But then the third chord is going to be A major. So you see the commonality, the first chord of A major is the A major chord. And the third chord of the F sharp minor is also the A major. All right, so now for uh, the piece of music I'm going to be playing, there's going to be two chords. There's going to be the A major. And for the second chord, what I'm going to be using, it's going to be kind of funky to play on the bass here, but I'm going to be playing an A6 chord. And that 6 is the F sharp, which we also have said is the relative minor. So that is going to be sounding something like this. So the first chord I'll be playing over is this, and the second chord will be this. And the synthesizer is going to be playing that, so let's switch to synthesizer so you can see that. Now real quick, let me show you what I'm going to be playing on the synthesizer. I'll be playing an A major, which is A, C sharp, and E. And then for the second chord, I'm just going to add the sixth note, which is the F sharp, and that's an A6 chord. So those are the two chords you'll hear, and let's hear the whole thing now. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how I would apply using this if I was improv or doing a little solo. Over that first chord, which is A major, I'm gonna be playing out of the A major scale. When it switches to the second chord, which is an A6, I'm gonna play out of the F sharp minor scale. So let's hear how that sounds.
right, so I think that was a pretty good example of how I would use it and how you might want to use it, you know, if you're improv or soloing. Now, the short answer I could have given you is don't sweat it. Don't worry about it too much. It's just musical knowledge. You're going to keep it in your back pocket, and you're going to use it for when it applies. Um, there have been very few times in my 38 years of playing that I was on stage and I was thinking, oh, let me go to the relative minor of the major. You know, maybe if I was soloing or if I was improv or something like that, but 99.9% .9 of my playing when I'm performing live is in the pocket and I'm just playing the solo. So don't sweat it too much, just musical knowledge that you have at your disposal. So thanks for the question. I hope I answered it thoroughly. Um, as always, please subscribe. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And visit me at stevekonbass.com. Happy bass playing. I'll catch you next time.